Double honors unto our apostles and elders of the great millstone. We put us to 100% truth. Through the spirit of power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to all for elect. Shalom, Mr. Brother Abba Yahweh, with another lesson. Through the spirit of power and mercy of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying unto the elect. We must let go from mortal thoughts. Alright? We must let go from mortal thoughts and think beyond the flesh. All right, because this flesh and the thoughts that come with being in this flesh will weigh you down. You know, it will it will prevent you. It will it will hold you back. Okay, because this, these thoughts that come with these bodies, you know, this this corruptible flesh. You know, if our flesh is corruptible, then our thoughts is corruptible. That's why the scriptures say not to follow follow your own mind and not to lean into your own understanding. Because the heart, meaning the mind, is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked, as as the scriptures say. Okay, so we must we must uh, think beyond this flesh, beyond the mortal. Okay, we must think spiritually. We must think with that with that eternal mindset. All right, especially in these last days, because we are in the evil days. You know, wickedness is increasing in the earth. Transgression is increasing in the earth. Spiritual attacks is increasing in the earth. Okay? Satan is busy, as well as Satan's advocates and his, his, his minions. You know, these, these devils, these serpents. Okay, in the flesh, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, they're busy. As well as these demons that's working for Satan. Well, they really working for the most high. Okay, but they're doing Satan's work, you know. They're, they're doing wickedness. These demons that get on people, okay. You know, they're, they're, doing, they're doing wickedness. They, they out. Like as the scriptures say, man, uh, Satan um, desires to have you that he may sift you. We in that time that the Lord is sifting the house of Israel, man, meaning making a separation. Okay, there's a division happening. The Lord, Yahweh Shah said, you know, think not that I am coming to send peace on the earth. I am not coming to send peace, but a sword. Okay, and that sword is meant to cause division. All right, now the Lord is co coming to, to send that literal sword by way of, you know, the chariots to destroy this place, America, Babylon the Great, and all the wickedness with it. But also, you know, it's, it's a, a symbolic for the division that's going to happen before the destruction comes, okay? You know, the Lord said he's going to set a man at, at variance with his son, you know? Your enemies shall be they of your own household. So in these last days, man, these are the, these are the trying times that the scriptures speak of. These are the times that, that's going to try our faith. You know, we will be tested for how much faith we, we really have in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shabbat beyond what we say. We're going to have to prove that we have faith and that we trust in the Lord because the hour of temptation is approaching. Famine is coming, you know, race wars, more plagues, you know, and other things that the Lord hasn't revealed unto us is going to be taking place. All right? Which is why the scriptures say it's going to be a, like a time that has never been before since, the, since there was a nation, man. This time that we coming into, that we, we, we in it already, it just hasn't got to the, to the full extent. This time is going to be uh, a make or break time. It's either going to break you and overcome you, but you have to be faithless and unbelieving and weak, you know, spiritually and mentally. Or it's gonna it's gonna make you meaning it's gonna make you righteous. It's gonna make you pure, because this is gonna be the purification stage. Okay, that fire is coming. Fire is a purifying agent, but that fire is gonna be the fire of affliction, the fire of adversity. Okay, and we're gonna be forced. We have it's, it's inevitable. You know, it's, it's imminent that we're gonna have to, you know, take that trust fall. 
all right, in the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. And once you, you know, again, it's going to be uh, inevitable. So everyone has to take that trust fall. But it's all about if you believe that the Lord is going to catch you and keep you safe or not. So if you, when you fall, when you fall back, and you and you wavering in your faith, you wavering in your belief, the Lord is going to, you know, withdraw His hand and let you fall into perdition. But if you trust, man, the Lord going to catch you, man, and He's going to keep you safe, keep us safe. Lord willing, we be of the elect. All right, but Salaki for um, for rambling. Let me get some scriptures. Let me get this first scripture. This is the book of Second Samuel, chapter chapter two or chapter twenty-two, and verse uh, thirty-one. As for the Most High, His way is perfect. The word of Yahweh is tried, meaning it's pure. He is a buckler to all them that trust in Him. Okay. Now, when you look into this word buckler. Okay. Morgane. Uh, I believe it's Morgane. Okay. It means a shield, a defense. Strong's age, 4043. My gain. My gain. Okay, Morgane. It means a shield, a defense. All right. When you go down, it says a protector. Okay, so Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is our, our protector, our shield. All right, the scriptures also say, man, the Lord will fight for us and we, we uh, so that we may hold our peace, roughly paraphrasing. So, you know, the war is already won. It's just about having faith so that we can see it through. All right, in these last days, man, we're going to need faith. This is the time to be praying for more faith for yourself. Praying for brothers, you know, the sincere brothers and sisters, the hopeful elect, that they may have faith and be increased in their faith, you know, to be increased in fear, okay, to be increased in, in endurance, because we're going to need it, man, to increase in wisdom and knowledge, because that's going to be the stability of our times, as the scriptures say, continuing on in what we what we laboring in, man, whatever our lots may be, just, just to be diligent and consistent in doing the things that pleases Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, so that we may be protected so that we may have that buckler so that we may be defended okay up under Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah's wings because if you don't have that protection man that that heavenly protection you're going to get overcome by the heavenly destruction second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 26 as for the servants who I whom I have given thee there shall not one of them perish for I will require them from among thy number. Okay, and we Lord willing, we are those servants of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Those who have came back to the Lord's obedience, or came back to the Lord in obedience, rather. You know, those who are hearkening unto the Lord's voice, doing His will to the best of our ability, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. You know, going about in faith, you know, using wisdom, abstaining from evil. That's serving the lord man verse 27 be not weary for when the day of trouble in heaven is coming which it is coming the scriptures say in the last days perilous times shall come okay perilous meaning dangerous uncertain times okay and and only the, that time is only going to affect those who are wicked and those who don't believe okay but the elect those who do believe those who have faith those who, those who have been laboring those, those are going to be the ones who are good, man. Those are going, they're going to be preserved. We're going to be preserved, you know, through through the tribulation. All right? Like the, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7 says, man, Alas, for that time is great. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. All right? But he shall be saved out of it. You know, rough, just roughly paraphrasing. Continuing on. Second Ezra 2 and uh, 28 or 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble... And heaven is cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. All right, like the scriptures uh, also say, you know, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry, man. It's talking about the wicked, you know, two thirds, uh, two thirds of Israel, man. Us Israelites being the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. 
two thirds of our people is written to die, to perish, to not make it on this side. They have to come back through the loins of the elect in the kingdom of heaven after they die a painful death. Okay? That's not a simple thing. That's not something that's, you know, that's not something that's just, okay, well, yeah, we're going to die, but we will be back. No, man, the Lord is going to make you suffer for not hearkening unto his voice, for being disobedient, for being disrespectful, for being wicked. All right, but the, but his his people, man, his servants, the Lord is going to is going to you know, show them that he loves them, that he loves us. Okay? The Lord loves them that love him. Right? So it, it and it also says, man, you know, uh these people going to mourn and weep, man. But the but the servants of the Lord's servants, they're going to they're going to be joyful. Right? They're going to have joy in spirit, man. Verse 28, the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, says the Lord. All right, and because the Lord is going to show forth his light through his, his elect, man, especially the, the 144,000 men. Lord willing, we be of that number, man. You know, just the, just the elect, period. But the Lord is going to show forth his glory and his light through his men. All right. And, and there's going to be a lot of people envying because everyone is going to be in, in straits. Everyone is going to be going through it. Uncertain. Not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go. You know, stressing, uh, in distress. They're going to be, they're going to be, it's going to be chaos, turmoil. You know, everyone's going to be confused. Everyone's going to be angry. Everyone's going to be desperate. But the Lord's elect is going to be calm and, and stable through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. We're going to be stable. And we're gonna be, you're gonna, we're gonna be, you know, uh, we're gonna know how to move. And everyone is gonna see that, especially the heathen, like as it says, and they're gonna envy. And they're gonna wanna make a move, they're gonna wanna bust a move, they're gonna wanna attack us, they're gonna wanna, you know, bring us down. Because, you know, that saying, misery loves company. There's gonna be people, even of our, our nation, the Israelites, who are gonna wanna bring us down. But no one is gonna be able to do anything against the Lord's elect, man. As the scriptures say, man, if the most high be for us, who can be against us? And the answer is none, man, no one. If the Lord is protecting us and guiding us and shielding us in that day, being our buckler, ain't shit nobody can do against us, man. We just pray that we are part of that number whom the Lord is going to protect. Because great distress, great death is coming. But we have to, again, let go from those mortal thoughts of what am, what am I going to do in that day? You know, because, it, you know, it's, it's, it's so many different things that's going to happen all at one time. And each one of those things alone is very detrimental, man. It's going to it's going to be very intense. Just not having food alone, it being a famine, a lack of a lack of bread. That alone is going to bring distress. You know, that's why we're supposed to be re constantly reading and constantly praying. Because also it's going to be a famine of, of, of hearing the word. Who knows how it's going to happen, man? We're going to see, but they may come confiscate uh, our Bibles and, uh, and Apocryphas and, you know, uh, make it to where, you know, you can't access the Internet to get on the, 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 uh, the app, the Bible app. So whatever you whatever you learn or whatever you know is in your head. That That's going to cause, you know, stress for a lot of people. But Lord willing, we be of the elect, man. We're not going to be worried. We're not going to be stressing. Psalms chapter 46 and verse 1. To the chief musician for the sons of Korah, a song upon Alamoth. The Most High is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. It says a very present help in trouble, man. The Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, is with us in spirit, man. The Lord is with his elect in spirit. He's not going to forsake them. He's not going to forsake us. All right? And if you don't believe that, then, you know, as the scriptures say, man, uh, woe unto them that are faint-hearted, for, uh, for they believe if not, therefore shall they not be defended. Right? Verse 10. Be still and know that I am the heavenly Father. I will be exalted among the heathen. 
I will be exalted in the earth. Okay, and that exaltation is coming very soon, man. The Lord is going to make the world fear him again, man, because the world the world don't fear Yahweh Yahushai. These people walking around carelessly, especially in this wicked ass, abominable ass place, man. Just to say the least, man. Words is not strong enough to to, to describe the the passion of hate. That the hopeful elect has for this place, America, man. This place is, is, is beyond words when it comes to wickedness and, and perverseness. This place is, is, is the farthest thing from godly and righteous, man. And the Lord sees it. And the Lord is going to demand his fear. That's why the, the scriptures say the Lord is angry with the wicked every day, man. And as much wickedness is in America... For you to not believe that this place is going to be destroyed, man, you, you, you fool. You're a fool. And the Lord is going to be exalted. He's going to demand his fear and his reverence. All these false gods and idols is going to be done away with and burned up. Verse 11, Yahweh of hosts is with us. Yeah, the whole four let. The Most High of Jacob is our refuge. Okay, Salah. Right? The refuge is what? A place of safety. A place of protection. A, pl a place out of danger's way. Out of harm's way. Nahum chapter 1 and verse 7. Yahweh is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Alright? The Lord knows them who trust in him. The Lord knows our hearts. Right? The Lord knows if we, if we, if we truly believe or if we just, you know, uh, you know, giving praise with our mouth, with our lips. But our hearts, is, if, if our hearts is far from him or not, the Lord knows our, our true intentions. He knows our true, uh, our true thoughts uh, towards him, man. And what is this word stronghold? All right, the book of Nahum, chapter 1 and verse 7. Okay, because the Lord is a stronghold to them that believe, Right? Okay, this word for stronghold. So lucky. All right, it says uh, a place or means of safety, protection, refuge. Okay. Fastness, human protection, man, a fortress, strength. All right, the Lord is our strength, man. He's our rock. He's our, our protection, our, our, our place of safety, man. Right, and when you go to a sanctuary, it's a it's a it's a, it's a building or, or a place that covers you. Right, that's why the scriptures say, "Woe unto them that that cover with that covering, not of the spirit of the Most High." Okay, R uh, roughly paraphrasing. So we're gonna cover with that covering of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, man. That's the true protection, the true the true strength. The Lord is gonna protect us and and, and see us through. These tri this, this tribulation, man. Yes, we're going to go through the tribulation because we have to be purified. We have to be made clean. You know? We have to go through that, that furnace of adversity, man, because, hey, the scriptures say acceptable men are tried in the furnace of adversity, man. Right? In the, in the apocrypha. Fire is tried, or gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we got to go through it. It's, 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 it's mandatory. But we pray that we can get through it. And, you know, as I always say, that fire is either going, it's either going to burn you up or it's going to purify you. And Lord willing, we, we of that gold and silver, you know, that precious metal, man, we're going to be purified, man. Those precious stones. You know, made white. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 26. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And this is what we're doing, man. Yes, you know, even though we hastening in the Lord, man, we still quietly, patiently hoping and waiting in the Lord, in the Lord's salvation, man. We can't haste the uh, you know, or, or try to arrest the Lord. No, but we we crying out to the Lord, man. Like, Lord, come get us, save us. You know? Abba, Father, Yahweh Baha Shem Shah, please save us from this wicked place. You know, we, we understand now why we wasn't supposed to do the things that we did. Which is why we, you know, this is judgment. This is, you know, this is the sentence that we had to serve out, man. 
But we coming to the end of that sentence, man, and we understand now, man, the hopeful elect anyway. So with, so now we just waiting for you, for the salvation, man, and, and doing what we can, Lord willing, so that we may be sealed for that salvation, man, and receive that mark of exemption from judgment, man. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. Okay, so again, the, the Lord is going to, uh, you know, put us through that adversity, man. We're gonna get, we're gonna be tried. We're gonna go through, we're gonna go through uh, afflictions. The whole world, it, it, that 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 trouble is coming upon the whole world. But the Lord is not gonna allow those things to overcome His elect. It's not gonna allow. He's not gonna allow those things to things to destroy us. Even the brothers or sisters who may be martyrs, who may be killed for this truth, that's still not you being overcame. Who's ever lot they may be, that's not you being overcome. That's just, you know, you plan out uh, the, the Lord's will, man. You, you fulfilling the Lord's will. But you, the Lord's not going to allow you to suffer. Verse 2, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. And their departure is taken for misery. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. You know, yeah, we, we, we persecuted. And, you know, we're going to be persecuted further and demonized in these last days. We're going to go through that same, you know, of course, not the exact same, but, you know, a similar uh, affliction and persecution as our Lord did, because it's written to be that way. All right. It's written to be that way, but we're going to be at peace because we know that these things must needs be. Verse 4, it says, for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Yeah, because our thoughts of peace, our thoughts of, of, of salvation is going to be. Greater, it's going to outweigh the thoughts of, of destruction. It's going to outweigh the thoughts of, of the flesh, man. That's why through the Spirit, this lesson, you know, is entitled "Let Go from the Mortal Thoughts" because those mortal thoughts is the th is the things that is going to hold you back. What am I going to eat? I got, you know, for those who have kids, man. How I'm gonna feed my kids, man? I got myself and, and five others. You know, you may have a, a wife with you as well, so that's six. You know, you might you might have you might have a you know you may have a big family. It may just be you yourself. You know, certain certain brothers. You know, we we struggling. We we don't have money like that. That those things is not to be worried about. Those things is not is to not to be meditated on. Man, we are supposed to meditate on salvation. Okay, the the, the Lord said it's his, it's his good place. It's his good pleasure to give us that expected end. Do you expect to be overcome by famine and by race wars and by plagues and things, you know, the things that's coming? Or do you expect that the Lord is going to, you know, give you the spirit to survive and to endure through those things, man? All right. Verse 5, and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, right? Because the Lord chastened those whom he loves. And if we, if we those sons of the Most High, we're going to be chastened. But the Lord is going to reward us in the end, man. It's like when you have a, you know, or if you ever seen, or if you ever been in that situation, you got a, a father who um who didn't spare the ride with you, you know, he 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 chastised you, or maybe a grandpa or uncle or something who 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 chastised you because they love you. But in the end, you know, after you got done crying or something, or after you got done whooping your butt, he, he gave you a reward or, or took you out to go get something something to eat or something like that, man. It's gonna be like that, but on a much more unfathomable scale with with the heavenly father for those whom he loves man his, his his children the lord is going to reward us after he chastises us but we have we must go through that chastisement for the most High proved them and found them worthy for himself as gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering man it, it's a a beautiful thing man to 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 think of the heavenly father being pleased with you that's all I want, man. Me personally, I just want to, I just want the Lord to be pleased with me, man. The Lord to say He's proud of me. Yahweh Bashemi, I was shot to say that He's he, they, they're proud of me, and that I, I, you know, I did what I was I was called to do, to the best of my ability, man. It says, um, verse seven, and in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among among the stubble. The Lord is gonna give us spiritual powers, okay? The Lord is gonna show forth His power. And his men, certain brothers is gonna get spiritual powers, man, and to 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 glorify the Lord. Okay. 
Verse 8, they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign, reign forever. And this is to them who, who endures until the end, man. Those who, who are faithful unto death. The Lord is going to give us that crown of that, that crown of life and, and dominion, you know, to rule the nations, man. Okay, up under him. Verse 9, they, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. It's plain, man. The Lord is not going to forsake them that trust in him. All right? Verse 10, but, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Especially of the house of Israel, man. All right? Those who are Israelites, who have, who have mocked and scoffed the Lord's prophets, have offended his little ones. You know, it's going to be bad for them, man. Those who, who blatantly disrespected the Lord's name, who, who uh, denounced the Lord, who didn't trust in the Lord and, and, and convinced others not to, you, you know, it, it's not going to be good for you. St. John chapter 10 and verse 27. This is Yahweh Shah speaking. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Okay? So those who are Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shaz will not be moved, will not be taken, will not be overcome. Verse 29, my father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Okay? Nobody is going to be able to come against us or take this word from us or, or uh, get us to denounce you know the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and our faith in the Lord, man. You know his devil is doing everything he can. This this damn wicked ass, you know, caveman Esau is doing everything that he can to get us to 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 separate from our power, man, by keeping us in a, a down, degraded state of mind. That's that's how he's he was able to to rule over us for so long because he's he's. Uh, manipulated us and deceived us into thinking that wickedness was the way to go when those things that we've we've been doing for so long was the same things that separated us from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man but we come we came back to our power man because the Lord was merciful the Lord called us back man and there's nothing they can do about it those who continue and endure in, 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 in the spirit of the Lord man alright it says verse 30 I and my father are one Right, and that doesn't mean that the, the heavenly Father and the Messiah is the same person, man. No, the heavenly Father is a spirit, and He loves His Son Yahweh Shah, who comes in His image. Okay. Sirach, chapter two and verse ten. Getting straight to the point, man. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in His fear and was forsaken, or whom did He ever despise that called upon Him? This is one of my favorite scriptures, man, because, you know, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget our works and labor of love, as the scriptures say. And, you know, and we see it, man. You know, we see it. Uh, even if it's on a smaller scale, man, it's, it's enough to increase our faith, man. I'm going to speak for myself, man. It's enough. It's enough to give me faith, man, the little things. You know, the Lord has put the spirit on me to not forsake him, to not, to not, you know, deny him, man. And I pray that the Lord continues to strengthen my faith and my, and my trust in him, man. Because the Lord has not forsaken me. The Lord has not confounded me, man. You know, ever since I learned the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushua, man, even before I learned the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushua, just me seeking the Lord. You know, the Lord allowed me to go through certain things, man, as a, as a test, as, as chastisement, as, as, you know, a lesson, of course. But the Lord has not forsaken me, man. I'm still alive. I still have, I was able to, to be blessed with this gift of this truth, man. So the Lord has not forsaken me, man. All right. And I pray that the Lord don't forsake me or the sincere brothers out there, man, or sisters out there, man, the hopeful elect. Verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. All right. And this is his servants. The Lord is only going to save. Those who believe, those who, who, who have trusted in him, those who have done his will, man, who he's pleased with. And that's what it's all about, man. 
All right, fear the Lord and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. That's all the Lord wants is for us to be obedient, man, and to reverence him and fear him, man. And we act like that's just so hard as, as, as a nation, man. Just to give the Lord his due praise, his due glory. And we can't, we can't give the Lord enough. But there's people out there that don't want to give the Lord any glory, man. But it's woe unto them. Psalms chapter uh, 37 and verse 25 says, I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Okay? The Lord is going to keep us and protect us and provide for us all the things that we need to survive, to, 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 to sustain us, man. And the Lord is not going to forsake us, man. I, I really truly believe that the Lord is going to allow us to, to prosper. Okay, even if it's by the skin of our teeth, man, the fact that we prospering and that we, you know, still surviving and alive, that's enough. If the Lord provides us some food, but it's not a lot of food, it's just enough to get us full for the moment, man, that's enough. We only supposed to be worried about the moment, you know, the present time anyway, man. We don't, we don't worry about tomorrow, man. Let tomorrow worry, worry about itself. Because, the, you know, if you have trust in the Lord, you're going you're gonna, to... If the Lord provided you food at, at one point, He'll provide it. He'll provide it again, and then some. Second Edges fourteen and fourteen. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Yeah, the Lord commanded us to, to gird up our loins, man, and show ourselves men. Especially in these last days, if you weak, if you have any any form of weakness or wavering or or or, or doubt, that can be the death of you. Faith is going to get us through these times, man. Of course, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. But, but any, form of, any form of weakness or, or, or you know, um, you know that, that show uh, the weakest link, man, any, any, any form of weakness can be very detrimental to your, to your safety, to your health, to your life in these last days. Especially if you have a family to, uh, to protect. You know, if, if for, for those whose lot that is to, you know, to, to, to protect your family, man. Verse 15, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. Yeah, let go of thoughts of what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, where you're going to go, you know. Because, hey, right now, man, I'm in, I'm in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. And me thinking like, okay, I don't know what my lot is, man, but, you know, whatever it is, I just pray that the Lord give me the strength. And the endurance to get through it, you know. Me, me thinking, you know. Okay, what if it's my, what if it's my lot to, to be, you know, uh, picked up and go to one of those, one of those camps. If that's the Lord's will, then that's what it'll be. What if it's my, my lot to be a pilgrim upon the earth and go be on a run? I'm in the desert, but, you know, those the, the mortal thoughts, you know, the fleshly thoughts is, man, I'm in the desert. It ain't nothing to drink out there. It ain't nothing to eat out there. I mean, the Lord can provide a way to eat and drink out of, out of nothing. You can walk, and the Lord, you know, just, just me speaking as a man, man, the Lord can have a whole plate of, a whole plate of food out there uh, just for you in the middle of nowhere. And put it on your spirit to know that it's, it's a good plate of food and, and that you're going to eat it and it's going gonna, it's gonna to satisfy you. The Lord, you can't put the, box in the, the Lord in the box, man. You know, excuse me for the slip of the tongue, man. You can't put the Lord in the box. Can, you know, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, right? And the Lord is going to show forth those wondrous works, and he's going to also allow his men. And the Lord said the, those works that he's done, man, we're going to do work, those same works and greater. Okay, so what, what, what really do we have to worry about, man, if we're doing what we need to do? You know? St. James chapter 1 and verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. And the scriptures say we have need of patience. All right. It says, but let, uh, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing, man. Let patience have her perfect work, man. Just let things play out how the Lord wanted to play out. We have no choice anyway. So, you know, just, just, let, it, just let, it, let it go, man. You know, do what we need to do, man. Just to the best of our ability, be consistent, be, be diligent. All right, but, but you know, hey, just 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 pray for more patience if you don't have it. Pray for more faith. Pray for more 
more more belief and trust in the Lord, man. Pray for more fear. Pray for whatever you may need. Pray. Pray for it. But but pray knowing that the Lord is going to bless you with that and that the Lord is going to provide that for you. 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. For our light affliction is but for a moment. All right. Uh, which is but for a moment. Worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal way to glory, man. Yeah, like the, the scriptures also say, man, for our reckoning that the sufferings for this present time is not is not worthy to be compared with the, the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. So the things that we have to suffer in this life is not, not to be compared with the things that we're going to receive for this suffering if we endure it. Verse 18, while we look not at the things which are seen, yeah, that, that the mortal things, you know, the temporal, you know, carnal, you know, uh, tangible things that we see that we feel that we you know that we hear that we you know these things that we see is temporary it says but at the things which are not seen yeah that's if you're spiritual you look at spiritual things man you can't see spiritual things you just know it has to be you have to be blessed with that though not everyone is spiritual for the things which are seen are not temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal all right Psalms 34 and verse 14. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. All right. The eyes of Yahweh by Hashem Shah are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto, unto their cry. Okay, when we constantly crying out. All right, the angels of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, man. So if you fear the Lord, the Lord has angels whom he's given charge over us. Right, the Lord, the Lord has angels protecting us and guiding us and shielding us in these last days. How much more, you know, when when things get rough, man, is the Lord gonna lighten up on that protection, or is He gonna, you know, buckle down and give us more protection? We have angels constantly watching. Oh, man, man, I know through the spirit of power, Yahweh by Hashem, it's it's at least one angel around me right now while I'm recording this lesson. You know, and, and call her Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah for that. Because you never, you know, especially as a man of the Lord, man, Lord willing, I be a man of the Lord. You know, us who's laboring in his work, you know, the prophets beginning with the apostles and the elders on down. It's it's not only people, physical people out to get us, but it's demons and spirits, negative, wicked spirits out there to get us as well. But we being protected from those things, man. You know, we being protected, man. That's a fact. No, call her Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Verse 16, Psalms 34 and 16. The face of Yahweh is against them that do evil. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth, man. Yeah, and the Lord's indignation, meaning his righteous anger, resteth upon sinners, man. Them that do evil, the wicked. All right? Verse 17. So, yeah, that, that goes for you people that think that the Lord is already is all forgiving, all love. And that you can do what the hell you want to do, and and and, and you you already forgiven. No, man, that's not how I work. Verse eighteen, or verse seventeen, the righteous cry, and Yahweh heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. It didn't say out of some. It didn't say out of most. It said out of all their troubles. Yahweh is nigh unto them, meaning near unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit, man. Look at this word contract real quick. Just for edification's sake. Alright. Where's that? Uh, 18. Alright, the Lord is near unto them who are of a broken heart. Meaning you you know you're sorrowful. You know, you you you're remorseful. Yeah, that's 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 Prove that. My phone wanna work. Come on, come on. Try to zoom. All right. Let's look at uh. Of a broken, of a 
broken heart, man. Okay, let's look at um a contrite a contrite spirit, man. What's the word contrite mean? Let me look it up in uh, Google. Contrite in the Google, it says remorseful, repentant. Okay, so the Lord and the scriptures also say, man, you know, a, a, a broken matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Psalms chapter 51 and verse 17 The sacrifices of the Most High are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O power. Thou wilt not despise. So if you remorseful, if you you sorrowful towards the Lord, you repentant, the Lord not gonna uh, despise you. That actually pleases the Lord, man. So back to Psalms 34 and uh, verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, delivereth him out of them all. Okay. So if we be of the elect, the Lord got us, man. The Lord, the Lord is not gonna allow us to starve. He's not gonna allow us to be. Uh, overtaken and killed in, in these race wars that's coming. He's not going to allow any plagues to touch us. He's not going to allow these wild beasts that's going to be released to uh, to overcome us. You know, the scriptures say, "At famine thou shalt laugh, and, and you shall be at league with the beast of the field." Man, meaning that peace. Okay, the Lord may even put the spirit back on on the, on the animals to fear us again, man. All right. And and, and the scriptures say, man, through much tribulation we enter into the kingdom of the Most High, man. So. Just know that that tribulation and that, that affliction is coming, man. But, you know, if you're doing what you need to do, man, through the Spirit, Lord willing, we be of the elect, man. The Lord, it's already written. It's already, it's already, it's already written, man. I just can't say it no other way. It's already written that we're going to, we're going to endure, that we're going to make it, man. So with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all, give all praise on that glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety unto the whole elect. Abad, Babal, Waqam, Yashallah, Salawam. 1044, call Halal, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah.